Hey, so um, this is story time about what happened to me today for picking up school supplies um, for my kids' school. So they were doing a back-to-school bash um, here in my neighborhood, and it's basically by invitation only. And um, I took me, my daughters, um, we both, you know, all three of us went together, and... Um, it was a fucking disaster. First of all, it started with my husband telling me to take my car. Um, see, his car is like a regular little coupe. And my car is a mom mobile that comes equipped with a wheelchair. Just in case I ever needed it. So I stupidly take his car. and um, Which comes equipped with nothing to assist me. I get over to this place thinking it's like last time, last time what they did because of COVID, they went ahead and held a back to school bash drive through and it was fucking awesome. You didn't have to get out the car. They had people giving you stuff and you loaded up on everything. It was awesome. Well, this time it was being held at a fucking convention center where a huge crowd of fucking people go into a building and you know are are going through like booths and the booths you know all contain different things and activities for the kids um some of them have haircut stations some of them have shoe stations where you could pick up a pair of shoes for your kids like they, they had so many cool 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 things there as soon as i get out my car and just make it to the front entrance of this fucking building they're like, yeah, wait in line. The line was fucking huge. My Tourette started acting up. I was like between my back pains from walking and and just going into like, I felt like I was having anxiety because of all these people not wearing masks, all talking, all mashed up together. Like it was seriously giving me some serious, serious fucking anxiety. Uh, my my Tourette's just started going off. I couldn't control my neck, my head, uh, what I was saying, what was coming out, you know, sounds. I couldn't control any of it. And it just felt like it was getting worse and my back was tightening up and my brain was just like already starting to cook up. So I go and I quickly, you know, try to s seek help from one of the, you know, people that are there. And, you know, a lot of these people are volunteers. So, you know, I went to one of the volunteers and they basically sought out a, a, like a security guard or an officer that they had there. And he was like, well, you know, I can't go ahead and leave my post to help them. You know, they were like, if you want to do it, you can do it. So, you know, they went out and, and had us to sit down. Um, and my kids just sat there next to me, holding me, hugging me the entire time while my fuck well. My charts is going off and it's whom and it's whom it's um I felt sad and angry with myself that I couldn't change the situation that I couldn't make it any better and that I was the cause of the situation you know preventing my daughters from going in there being able to see all this cool stuff you know and all because I didn't bring my right car that had my wheelchair in it. I had no idea that there was going to be so much walking involved. And um, and physically, I can't do that. And it really sucks. Anyways. That's my story time. I ended up having to get the bare minimum for my kids, which was just a book bag that contained stuff that they needed for their schools. They missed out on the free shoes. They missed out on all the free stuff. They missed out on the experience of being able just to get the fuck out of the house. So, yeah. Tourette's really fucking sucks. Because it ruins everything. So I hope you guys don't think that Tourette's is fun and funny, because it sucks.
It leaves you stuck in place, doing stupid shit and embarrassing yourself publicly in front of everybody to see. Right in front of your kids. And why I didn't have anybody else with me? Well, my husband had to stay home with my son. And I'm over here just trying to do the best that I can to try to help my kids get the stuff that they need. So there you go. Eventually, we went ahead. We left as soon as they gave us the book bags. And I was taking out almost the entire way over to the car. Just because there's so much fucking noise. It was bright outside. It was really hot and sunny. There were a lot of people. There was a lot of talking. So, yeah. By the time I got to the car, I was already starting to calm down. And it just took me like a couple of minutes to get my head all together and just to stop taking out before I went ahead and drove off. <sighs> if I would just have my wheelchair. This would have been a completely different story. Because I would have been telling you about all the amazing stuff that my kids got. And all the cool things that they saw and the things that they did. I'm pretty sure that they had, you know, just all kinds of wonderful things lined up for the kids. And I missed out on it. And it was like in downtown, you know, area. It was so freaking packed. And they made you go into a parking garage where you had to pay for your parking if you weren't in and out in 30 minutes. And that place definitely wasn't going to be 30 minutes. But because of somebody helping me and just cutting all the lines of getting this stuff but even then it was missing out on everything we didn't get charged for parking thank god but it really really sucked it wasn't fun it was supposed to be fun anyways I don't to bring you guys down with me anymore there's just my life and the sucky shit that happens to it because of my dress. Um. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Later. Be kind to each other, please. <laughs>